Okay, now to start adding content, uh, there's a couple things that we need to do. There's uh, the name of our mod, uh, which is, for me, I've made it called Crops. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll change mod ID to Crops. And then here, you can name your mod. Uh, so you can add spaces and special characters and stuff. Um, so I'll just do, I'll just call this Fabric Crops. And then this is uh, just a description. Uh, it could be whatever. Um, as resource crops to the game. And authors, of course, that's um, whoever is a part of developing this. So that's me. Um, and then you could add other people too if you want, separating it by uh, JSON format. And you can add extra authors by adding a comma and their name into it as well, so it'd be whoever. But in this case, uh, I'm not doing that, so I'll just leave it like that. And then this will be your contact info, um, homepage, uh, and whatever else, Discord link even. Uh, but I'll just leave that as is. And then there's license info. I'll leave the uh, information about that in the description below. And then the name of the icon. So in this case, uh, we got here assets, mod ID icon, so whatever that is. So we don't want that, so we'll add one later, but for now, we'll just leave it as is. And so this is the main entry point for your code. So for us, it's here under net, fabric MC example, and then it would be this example mod Java file. So what we'll do is we'll change that. I will rename it as crops. So that will be the Java file. And then the mixin. Uh, so this is the same idea where it will load in mixins and add them and mix in code with the vanilla game. So how this will work is it will be mod ID mixins.json. So that would be found here. And this is where you declare as well the client entry point for that file as well. And that will fall under the same category as where the package is. So again, it'd be net, fabric MC, crops, and then I'll leave it mix in. And that will be this file here. So what I'll do is I'll name this crops mix in. There's a bit of jumping around here, but no worries. So instead of example mix in, I will name it crops mix in. This will uh, give an error because the name of the file is no longer example mixin. So you can just do a quick fix and then you can choose here. So what you wanna do is you wanna rename it to the file and then that will resolve the error. So if we go back here, we'll see fabric MC, crops, crops. So it's still example, so we'll rename example to crops. And then we'll rename example mod to crops. And that will uh, provide some errors. You could just do a quick fix and then the package name, and that will fix that. And same with this guy here. And there you go. So it loaded Minecraft with no errors. All right, what we wanna do is we would like to add uh, the actual content and items. All right, so to add uh, content here, what we'll do is we'll just do a uh, public static final item. And then uh, we'll just name our item here, just fabric item for now. And then this is a new item, so the item brackets, new fabric item settings. And then uh, item settings here, uh, it can do a bunch of things, but for now we'll just add it to the creative menu. So we'll do group, item group. And then we'll add it to the misc tab and then a semicolon okay so you got a few errors here okay so all we need to do is we just need to import uh, so you click on that and you see a quick fix import item and there you go so make sure that's outside of on initialize and then next uh, we go inside the initialize function here and then we will register our item so in order for it to be seen here, we'll just do registry, register, brackets, and then 
registry again. And we'll register an item. And then we'll add a new identifier. And this will be uh, crops. And then this will be, I don't know, let's just call it fabric item in lower case. So fabric item, and then we'll get some errors. So we'll do a quick fix. And make sure you add the right one, because uh, some of these other ones aren't the correct registry. Um, you'll want to use net minecraft util registry. And then this identifier, there we go. So now you've added your first item. Sweet. So it worked, no errors. It should be here on the bottom. So there it is. Now we gotta add texture and an icon. All right, to add resources, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename this to my mod ID, so it'll be crops. And then I'm going to add a new folder in here called models. Then I'll add another folder in here called textures. So these are where our uh, picture files will go. So under textures, uh, of course it's an item, so we'll have to separate out each file type as is. So um, there's a standard Minecraft format and where files need to go. And so each one will have its own folder. So like all textures for blocks will go into textures blocks, all textures for items will go into textures items. So uh, one of the first things here I'll do uh, for item, I'll add in this file here. So this is just a little picture I made and I will put that in there as iron essence. And then I will need to add the JSON file for that particular item. So under models, um, it'll be the same idea, item. And then under item, I will add in the iron essence JSON. Uh, basically what this is, what mod ID it's coming from, uh, what folder it's looking for, and the picture of the file that it's looking for. Okay, and one last thing we need to do before we load the game is we need to make sure that we rename this fabric item to the item texture that we just set up and the JSON file associating to that. So what we'll do is here, we'll just uh, name this iron essence and we'll do that with this as well. Iron essence, rename that, that points to that. And there we go. So now that should load, wonderful. So that worked. So now you have uh, your item texture uh, as you can see, the name of the file here doesn't look proper, it's, it's in code. Okay, so in order to clean that up a little bit, uh, here what we'll do is we will go into the language files. So under crops, here we'll add a lang, not in capitals. And then under lang, uh, what we'll do here is we'll add a file. Uh, I'll call mine enus.json. Of course, there's other languages, um, so you can add those to this if you'd like, um, and support as many languages as you want. Uh, and it has to fall under that code, so I'll provide a link to that below as well. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just added in a quick little snippet here. This will look like item, our mod ID, so crops, uh, whatever we named the item. So it would be iron underscore essence. And then this will be the actual name that we want to see in game. So we'll call it iron essence. And then we can uh, separate each one, uh, each item by a comma and adding just a new group. For this uh, here, what I'll do is I'll just add another line to this. So I'll do item crops iron essence and then I'll call this line one here I'll just say combine to create iron ingots and then we don't need a comma there unless we add an extra one other than that so that should be it okay Next, what we want to do is we would like to clean up our uh, crops main file because if you have like say 30 items in your mod pack and you're just you're adding like 30 entries in here of the same thing like you know it's like this 
it gets really clogged up and then you have a huge file. So we wanna keep everything centralized. Uh, so we wanna keep the blocks separate from the items. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll clean up all of this here and we'll combine some things together. So uh, we'll take out this and put it into item in it. And we'll take out this and we will also put that into item in it. And so we're going to combine this into one line. So to do that, um, we will keep this public static final item iron essence. And then we'll get rid of this after this line. And we'll take this and we'll register it all in the same line. Okay, so of course we need to resolve these missing dependencies I just added in the util dot registry and that should fix that okay now we'll start up minecraft and see the changes that we've made okay so that loaded okay so the name has changed and now there is another page and it has its own group so that's how you add your own item to Minecraft, and it looks like it's all good. Okay, so thank you for watching that. Uh, that's how you add Minecraft items to the game. In my next video, I will add crops and seeds and the blocks associated to those crops.